Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the full moon that is coming up on November 8th. So this will be a full moon lunar eclipse, which also has a nickname, a blood moon. During a lunar eclipse, the moon, sun and earth stand in a line with earth in the middle, causing our planet's shadow to be cast onto the moon. This gives the moon a reddish effect and that's why it has a nickname, Blood Moon. I want to give you an intuitive update. What kind of energy is coming up? How can we use it for the greatest possible manifestation? And how can we put ourselves into that coherent flow so we can manifest the greatest possible good for us and for all? So my friends, yesterday's video was kind of introduction into this energy that is coming up and it is truly a beautiful energy, but it is a different one. So as the year is slowly coming to an end, it's like a beautiful symbol of importance of slowing down and reflection of all the positive growth and changes that we've experienced until now. So don't forget about the importance of pausing and appreciating the growth, healing, positive changes and lessons you've experienced this year. It's completely okay to rest and rejuvenate because you deserve it, my friends. You're worthy of it. You've always been there for those who need you, and now is the time to be there for yourself. So love yourself exactly as you are and congratulate to yourself for all the good work and also all mistakes you did until now. Because everything you did, everything you went through brought you to where you are right now and made you who you are right now. And that is something we need to appreciate. We need to learn to appreciate those things because we've been conditioned to believe that there's something wrong with us, that we need to constantly fix ourselves, that we need to seek external approval and validation and so on. So we need to remind ourselves that we are okay exactly as we are, that we are actually magnificent exactly as we are, that nothing is wrong with us. We need to learn to accept ourselves so we can in tune back with ourselves to recognize in what kind of direction life is calling us and what's that sense of a purpose that we feel deep inside our hearts. So when it comes to this upcoming blood moon, this is a powerful transition that is happening from old way of living to a greater sense of awareness so we can start living your life more connected with yourself, more in tune with yourself, so we can embody more of that purpose that you sense on that heart level. And you can start projecting more of that joyful energy into the world because the world needs it right now. So the first thing I want to give you with this upcoming moon is an importance of awareness of how much you've changed. And you can make it with acceptance that everything is happening for your highest good. So I will explain this. Awareness of how much you've changed with acceptance that everything is happening for your highest good. So often we hear that everything is happening for our highest good, but what it actually means? It means that whatever happens for us, happens for us. So we learn from that experience. So we can recognize the lessons that are teaching us to become who we need to be, to manifest a life that is meant to be for us. So you see, everything is teaching us 
important lessons about ourselves. For example, when we sense a certain tension toward a certain person, the question is always, what am I hiding or ignoring about myself that I should accept, right? And what I'm trying to fix in that person that I don't like him or her as he or she is. Because we don't need to fix anything. We just need to learn to accept things as they are and things will naturally align to how they need to be. Right? So awareness of how much we've changed until now in a positive way can bring us a lot of that sense of appreciation and gratitude that actually we we did so many hard like we we've overcame so many hard challenges so many roadblocks and we are still standing with a greater smile on our face than ever before because we know what's to come because we know that in front of us path is unfolding in a much greater way than we could ever imagine. So it comes to that internal trust that whatever we are doing, we just know that this is the right thing. So become aware of how much you've changed in a positive way until now. And accept whatever you don't like, that everything is always happening for your highest good. So it is a moment of appreciation of yourself. And the energy that is coming up is inviting us to slow down a little bit. To slow down so we can rejuvenate our batteries, you know, our energy so the cup can stay filled with that joyful, beautiful energy so we can project it in whatever we do. So take a moment to appreciate yourself. And in the next days, you may feel like you need to be a bit slower. Maybe you will feel like you need to rest a bit more or you need to sleep a bit more and follow that feeling. You know, when your body needs something, give it to your body. You know, allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to get that extra sleep if you need it. Just allow yourself to do that. Because you need that, right? When it comes to all those shifts in energy, it may cause us to be a bit more tired because we are adapting to the new energy, but still at the same time we are kind of um, fighting with our old perception and we are, sometimes we are in between, you know, a new way of looking at things and the old way of looking at things from allowing to forcing, from surrendering to blocking and sometimes we don't know where to be or how to uh, align ourselves or how to ground ourselves. So we need to remind ourselves, okay, take a rest, slow down, pause yourself a little bit and everything will be okay. The second thing I want to mention here is a release of the old thinking patterns that are controlling most of your life. So what it means, when you start releasing the old thinking patterns that are controlling our lives, we start allowing things to happen for our highest good. And how is it possible? For example, when you catch yourself, when you feel a need to control something and you find out that those thoughts are manipulating you to do that, you will notice that maybe you just don't need to be controlled by those thoughts. You know, thoughts are controlling us because we are not aware of them. When we recognize why we feel a need to control something, maybe thoughts may come up well because the results are not the way you would like them to be, but are they truly not the way they should be? Because if the results would not be the way they should be, maybe you would not do anything that is necessary for you to tap deeper into your purpose. So what if everything is exactly as it needs to be and you just need to become more aware of 
the meaning behind this, which comes again to acceptance. Okay, my life is right now the way it is, and it's okay. It's okay. I allow positive changes to happen because I release anything that is between me and my highest good. Right? So catch yourself when you feel a need to control something and recognize the thoughts that are trying to manipulate you. It may come up right now and in the next days and it may be a bit more intense, like a certain inner anger towards something or tension towards something. It may be a relationship, it may be something connected to your business or to a certain project, whatever you're working on. And see it as a great blessing because now you're becoming aware of the incoherent energy that is not allowing you to step into your own power, into your own authenticity. So recognize it and just accept it. Well, there's nothing wrong with you. You shouldn't, I mean, you don't need to fix yourself because you don't like it, right? You've been told that you need to think in a certain way, you need to act in a certain way, and you need to feel in a certain way that you will be okay. But you're okay exactly as you are. The wholeness that we are often searching for is present within us, not somewhere in the future. It's present within you right at this moment. But because you're lost in those expectations and thinking about how things should be, you are not in tune in the wholeness that is present within you. So you need to remind yourself of that wholeness so you can tap into it. How wholeness feels like. Like how you felt the last time that you felt whole within you. Was it in the nature when you were observing the sunset, the sunrise, or listening to the birds? Maybe you can hear them right now because I'm filming this video outside, barefoot in the forest because I love to do that. And you may fa feel that sense of wholeness. And that's where you notice that it was always present within you. And that's where you, where you recognize that you can try to force th something or you can allow it to happen. You can try to force something or you can allow it to happen. So what's the difference? When we allow things to happen, we actually use our minds to set the right intentions and then to stay present in what feels right. We tune with in our bodies and we ask ourselves what I feel right now that I need to do. And we do it. If you feel you need to rest, prioritize it. If you feel that you need to do something that is important to you, prioritize it. If you feel that you need to call a certain person, well, do it. You know, there's always a reason that you feel that. And more you start following that feeling, more you will actually recognize that, that meaning behind that feeling. Why you feel that. And that is something that is truly, truly important. The third thing that I want to give you here is do less of what exhausts you and do more of what sparks life within you. This is something that often we forget, especially when we have those ideas of what else we need to do so we will feel okay and, and um, kind of happy with us. But when we actually reflect on our, reflect our lives and we ask ourselves where I feel the most joy and we start doing more of that, we may recognize that we start downloading so many incredible ideas to do more of it. And who knows, maybe you can just design a new job for you and let go of the old one that maybe right now you don't like. And of course, we need some time to, you know, to experience those changes. But it all starts with one single step. Do less of what exhausts you and more of what sparks life within you. So, 
a beautiful thing you could do right now is a bit of reflection. You know, what brings the most joy into your life? And just ask yourself, what should you let go of so you can do more of that, right? So we can kind of check out our priorities a little bit as we were talking a lot in the previous videos. And we prioritize our joy. So we start doing more of that. That's what is filling up our cup of energy, right? That's what is bringing us more sense of fulfillment. And that's what inspires us to, to do more of it. And that's where we start to experience that inner fire that gives us a sense of passion for doing that. It all comes from awareness, firstly. What brings us that sense of joy? and then consistency following that sense of joy, right? So pay attention to that. The fourth thing that I want to mention here is be extra kind towards yourself and make it a habit. So it doesn't matter how you were treating yourself in the past, it is the past. And now is the time for you to become a new you. And in order for you to become a new you, you need to become kinder towards yourself. And to be kinder towards yourself means that you catch yourself every time you're not kind towards yourself. And ask yourself, is it truly necessary right now? Do I really deserve that? Because if not, stop doing that to you, right? You don't need that. You deserve all the best there is. So be like that towards yourself and you will see that your energy will rise and you will start to feel better. And it doesn't mean that you just fall to certain uh, satisfactions like, oh, I want to do that or certain pleasures, oh, I want to do that. It's not like that. You know, being kind towards yourself means that you start nurturing yourself like you would be a divine seed like I mentioned in the previous video that is about to bloom into something truly beautiful because you are. So reflect on what you want in life and focus more on that. That will help you to stay in that state of alignment. And then the last thing that I want to give you here is to focus on your purpose. So what is purpose? Purpose is something we feel naturally drawn to. It's something that we sense that we need to do without any special reason for doing that. Like creating an artwork, for example. There is no special reasons to make a painting, to make a song, to make a certain, any kind of an art. But we just do it because we feel that we need to do it. And that is called purpose. When you do something with such a joy, it will automatically start reflecting that harmonious energy. And that's why people are so touched with that kind of a work. So focus on your purpose, whatever feels natural to you. Focus on strength that you hold within. How strong you need to be that you've came so far. How many hard people crossed your path and you needed to deal with that? How many hard challenges happened this year and you've overcame them? How often you've been broken and you've fallen off the track but you got yourself back together and you're standing strong right now. And even if you are broken right now and you feel like your whole world is falling apart, you're still breathing and you're still able to smile. And that's strength to me. So focus on that strength. Focus on that force that was navigating you through all those hard moments. Because even in the darkest times, there was something that brought you back in balance with yourself. And that's strength. Focus on mental wellness. What is mental wellness? 
being aware of the beautiful thoughts that nurture our spirits, that nurture our inner light. And be aware of it, stay aware of it, meditate with it. Sometimes it can help us if we meditate on a beautiful quote. Like if you have a book with uh, beautiful quotes or poems that truly sparks light within you. You read a poem or, or you read a, that quote and then you just meditate on it for 10 minutes. Like the energy you feel behind it, like the meaning that you may experience behind that, those words. And sometimes, you know, just um, a meditation where we visualize our favorite place. It can be your favorite beach or your favorite forest with your favorite people. And you just lose yourself in the sensations of wonder and love and care that we experience when we are at those kind of places and we just enjoy in that, focus on it, focus on inner peace. Even at the times where you would react out of anger, what would peaceful you do at that moment? Because there is a version of you that is more peaceful. Focus on that version of you and embody it in this moment. Focus on simplicity, because less is more. It's always like that. Less thoughts, more happiness. Less things, more freedom. Less friends, greater connection. Right? It's all about simplicity. Focus on acceptance and improvement. So how these two can be connected? You can't improve something until you accept what is right now. Because even if you try to improve yourself, if you don't accept yourself as you are right at this moment, you will be always running away from what you don't like about yourself. And as long as you don't accept yourself as you are, you will feel like there's something wrong with you. And when you feel that there's something wrong with you, you will always manifest more reasons that will tell you why there is something wrong with you. So often people try to improve certain aspects about themselves, but they don't like how they are right now. So often people never get to that sense of satisfaction. Even when they lose weight, even when they change the diet, even when they create new habits, even when they manifest that business and that amount of money and that whatever, they're still not satisfied with themselves because they still don't like certain things about themselves. So the greatest improvement is when you accept yourself because then you will see a clear path what to do to maybe greater health, what to do to greater inner peace and joy. Or maybe it will just manifest naturally out of acceptance. So if there's one thing you need to know, this is it. And focus on living. Focus on living your life, my friends. Maybe you've been working hard until now. Maybe you've been suffering because of certain things. Maybe you've been pushing yourself so much but now focus on living what life would do right now. In this situation that you are, what life would do. What a gentle rose would do. It would enjoy the light of the sun, right? Go outside and under the sun and just enjoy it a little bit. Enjoy yourself, my friends because you deserve it. Love yourself, my friends. And this is it for today. Have a magnificent day and beautiful celebration of this blood moon. I'm sending you all lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. And to everyone who needs some daily reminders, go and check out my Instagram page, Attract Passion, where you will find daily messages. And my other Instagram page, I draw my passion where you, can, you will find my art gallery. See you there, my friends. Till next time, one love.